Hey everybody, it is Paula here from the XR Club and welcome to another video. What we're going to look at in today's video is how you can create measures, so measures for power pivot, directly from the Excel screen. So that's without going into the manage power pivot model and so setting up your measures from within the power pivot screen. Because you can also set up and you can manage measures from directly within the Excel screen from the Power Pivot ribbon. But before we get stuck into this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. And if you find this video to be useful, please do give it a thumbs up and share it across your social profiles. So let's hop into Excel now and see how we can set up a power pivot measure, a power pivot calculation from the power pivot ribbon in the Excel screen. So we are in Excel at the moment and on the power pivot ribbon, we have measures. And if you click on measures, we have two options. We have new measure or manage measure. If we click into new measure, we get this new measures dialog box. And what it does is it allows you to set up your measure in a way that you can quickly test it and format it. So first thing it asks you for is the table name in which you wish to create the measure. So it's selected, we only have one table in this example for the purpose of this example. After this, it asks you to name the measure. So let's just say average sales. Then it asks for a description to calculate average sales. And then we have the formulas box here. Now what we can do is we can press this insert function button and just like in Excel, you will get all of the functions that are available, the expressions that are available. I've gone into statistical there and I can select average from in here. This then brings up the average function and the screen tips along with it. So it's looking for a column name. And in our column, we have a column called total, which I am going to select. And I can close my bracket. Now, when you do a DAX calculation this way, you can quickly format the value. Let's just call it currency for the moment, just to show you and you can select the currency that you want. You can also then check the formula to see if there is any errors in your DAX formula. And this is something you're not able to do when you're creating a measure from the power pivot window. So we can see we have no errors in our formula. So we can just go ahead and say, okay, now this measure will be created and it's been added to our model. If we head over then to our actual power pivot model, we'll see that this measure that we created appears in the calculation area of our measures. 